So yesterday, I don't know if you guys uh, remember, but yesterday we had talked about um, we talked about your yearbook, right? Yes. And um, and I had promised I promised <laughs> the audience, and I don't like to uh, break a promise to the audience that I would read interpretively from Mark's yearbook. <laughs> And not that I, I was going to go. To, uh, not that I was going to go to a class reunion because I, I mean I guess I would, but now after this, there's no way I can go to a right. class reunion. Here it is, everybody. It's the holy grail. Now, um, let me preamble by saying that I don't know what I wrote in people's yearbooks. I'm sure it was also insane, but these are relationship manifestos yeah. that were written. And this, this is a very famous high school in, outside of Tampa. It's uh, Bloomingdale High School in, in, uh, like in Valrico, Florida. And you were the first graduating class. I was the first graduating class. We also graduated some very famous people. Me, of course. <laughs> that is what? Um, the teacher that had a few affairs with... That's bad. <laughs> it wasn't a teacher there. It was a student that later became... Uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> And then uh, I think, I, I forget, but I think I'm... I well, think, that yeah. sounds like a yeah. lot of famous people. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. He's trying, you see what he's trying to do? Take away from the interpretive read that's about to happen. So settle in, everyone, while we enjoy some okay. masterpiece theater. Now, the names of the people have been changed to protect the innocent. But let me start with chapter one, Mark's girlfriend. <laughs> <clears throat> Mark, well, I really don't know what all to say. I'm so glad that I have had the chance to get to know you this year. I only wish that we could have met earlier. You have so much going for you. <laughs> you deserve the best in life. I know you will succeed in everything you do. I wish you all the best in luck at Notre Dame. I know you will do just fine with your charming personality and okay. good looks. Plus, you're a star soccer player, exclamation point, smiley face. <laughs> you are a very special person. Now, just remember, there's a theme here. Everybody thinks that Mark is a special person, okay? <laughs> to me, Mark, you will always have a special place in my heart. I will miss you so much when you leave, but I won't worry about that now. Oh, For she now, got over it. <laughs> let me she finish. She got over it. For now, let's just be happy. Although we've had our ups and downs, we've had more ups than downs. She said that. She's going to reiterate, you make me so happy. All right, move on. <clears throat> move on. Move on. Uh, I'll always remember the good times. You're a, you're a special person to me. She reiterates a third time. You're very special. Uh, that would be great if I visited you. Good luck, blah, blah, blah. I love you. Um, uh, person X, okay? <laughs> now, right underneath the girlfriend is clearly the mistress. <laughs> no joke, no joke. Mark E. <clears throat> With hearts everywhere. This year has been great. You have always been a good friend. I won't forget all the fun underlying times we've had in leadership. <laughs> Parentheses, mark, mark that semi-sweet chunk. Okay. <laughs> okay, you got it. Shh, this is lies. Stop. I'm sorry I couldn't bring myself to give blood. Parentheses, even though I wanted to play with the salami. Parentheses. <laughs> I was. We I gave was, blood. We got crackers. I was. I was. I headed up the the blood drive. That was part of my uh, community service project. That was. That's what I did. But I didn't give blood either. Oh. <laughs> Very. Let squeamish. me finish. Very Here squeamish. we go. Here's the theme. You have so much going for you with your personality, intelligence, and good Italian looks. Parentheses. She's parentheses happy. We also know what they say about Italians. Okay, come on. <laughs> Move what, on. What do they say? I'm not sure. <laughs> you will be successful in whatever you do. Notre Dame doesn't know what they're in for. They Thanks didn't. for always being here for me. You aren't just a stud. Oh, God. You are caring and understanding and a gentleman. Turn the page. 
I care so much about you. Don't forget about me. Keep in touch. <coughs> Keep that smile. Good luck in everything you do. Have the best summer ever. I love you. Turn to page 387. <laughs> Now here's where it gets intriguing. <laughs> Remember the time when I picked you up and you snuck in my window to be with dot, dot, dot? <laughs> and the next night you were at Heidi's house with dot, no. dot, dot? Oh, forget it. It's a secret. Probably the best memory we share together. That'll be the secret the three of us take to our graves. I, I swear, S-W-A-R-E. <laughs> That's enough. Stop. That's, that's enough. Go to page. Stop. Go to page 397. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's just more of the same, but you get the idea. Don't we get the idea? It's not I, great. I just want you to know I read this to the kids for bed last night. <laughs> Can you reveal the secret? What I was don't, the secret? I don't remember the secret. Well, you snuck in a window, so we know that. You're studying. You studying. snuck in a window to study? You're studying. You was, never come uh... through the front door to, to study. <laughs> Everybody knows that. It was late. It was late. Listen, the 18-year-old the, the mind is not formed at that point. You don't, you don't, make, you don't make good decisions uh, during that time. I swear, S-W-A-R-E, that is true. <laughs> I will have to say that the gangster part of that whole thing is that I was able to have my girlfriend at the time write that I and mean, then write underneath incredible. it. I mean, it is incredible. Yes, two manifestos side by side, the girlfriend was... and the mistress. <laughs> Think about that. That is very gangster. I was a pimp. Yes. <laughs> In your mind, I'm sure. Anyway, this has been enormously enjoyable. Thank you for I doing love that, it so much. and I apologize. I <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Let me just ask you this. Was it worth it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want more, don't you? During the commercial break, <laughs> I'll read you from other parts of the book, which are really intriguing. <laughs> hey, uh, let's say hello to Sarah Kane from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Can I push the button? Yeah. Here we go. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hi, Kelly and Mark. Hi, Hi, Sarah. What's going on this, uh, in Rhode Island today? Not much at work. Oh, you're at work? Whoa. Where do you, where yeah. do you work? I work um, as a nurse at the Rhode Island Blood Center. At the oh. Blood Center? Yes. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, let me ask you this. When people donate blood, do you typically give out salamis for them to play with? Usually cookies and juice. Oh, cookies and juice. That's funny. That was at my high school was cookies and juice, but at Mark's high school, they gave out salamis to play with. <laughs>